I so. Oh, yeah. Well, we're just saying you don't often get an autumn wedding, do you? Certainly not a church one these days. I don't think they have the heating on, have they? It's as cold as charity in here. Well, churches aren't meant to be comfortable, are they? They believe in mortifying the flesh. Doing a good job. Right, have we missed much? Oh, there's some rather nice hymn tunes. Oh, this is my Marcus, by the way. This is Roy. Roy owns the cafe. Hello, Roy. How do you do? He's all right, thanks. And don't start crying, otherwise you'll set me off. I don't cry at weddings. I do. Buckets. You said I'd find this interesting. <sighs> you haven't started yet, has it? Give it a chance. Leaving a bit late if he's going to make a run for it. Don't worry. Rides are always late, but in my experience, they always arrive. You got the rings? No. Why aren't you? come to think of it, I have. Stupid wedding. Because you think, oh, it's just one of David's tricks. Or one of his little games. Yeah, well, big mistake there, because this isn't a trick or a game. And I just wish I could be there to see the look on your rotten faces when you realise that. Oh, I don't know. I mean, maybe you'll even be pleased. It's not like you've ever wanted me around before, is it? Eh? Especially you, Mother. I mean, you even thought about killing me before I were even born, didn't you? You just couldn't quite manage it, could you? Now I can. So happy days. You're finally gonna get what you've always wanted. Find David in. Yeah, well, we haven't. And this way, please, everyone. <sighs> so where is he? I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. That's lovely. I'll just move inside, get you to come down oh, the aisle, all right? Thank you. You all right, Beth? Yeah, yeah. We're fine, aren't we? <laughs> Are you still thinking about him? No. I'm thinking about you.
I'd like to welcome you all to St. Christopher's and to the marriage of Sarah and Jason. We are here to witness their becoming man and wife. We will celebrate with them and pray for God's blessing that they may find strength and companionship and comfort in one another and that they may support one another in good times and in bad. The vows you're about to take are to be made in the presence of God, who is judge of all and who knows all the secrets of our hearts. Therefore, if either of you knows a reason why you may not lawfully marry, you must declare it now. And what sort of car? A few years old, I couldn't tell you what, mate. Though it had a sort of design painted on it, a bit like a... Uh... Wings. Was this design any particular colour? Blue. Then after the car went under? Well, well no. See, he had gone then. I, I, looking for the phone to ring you lot. I, Jason, take you, Sarah Louise. I, Jason, take you, Sarah Louise. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. Perfect timing. To have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. For better, for worse, for richer, for poorer. Can I help you? We need to speak to Mrs. Platt. Well, she's a bit busy at the moment. That's her daughter getting married up there. Look, we really have to talk to her now. According to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Change hats. 